गुड इवनिंग एवरीबडी सिंस इंडस्ट्राइजेशन इज इनवेरिएबली आ प्रिकर्सर टू अर्बनाइजेशन सो द थीम ऑफ माय पी पी टी वॉज फोस्टरिंग इंडस्ट्रियल इको सिस्टम सिंस आई 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 एम हैंडलिंग द असाइनमेंट ऑफ डायरेक्टर इंडस्ट्रीज एंड कॉमर्स इन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर सो आई वुड टेक यू हाउ ओवर द पास्ट फाइव ईयर्स वी हैव डेवलप्ड द इंडस्ट्रियल इको सिस्टम इन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर सो दीज आर दिस विल बी द कंटेंट्स ऑफ माई पी पी टी सेवन आई विल टेक यू थ्रू नाउ हाउ द इंडस्ट्रियल लैंडस्केप ऑफ अ स्नैप शॉट वेयर हाउ दिस ओवर द पास्ट फाइव ईयर्स दिस इंडस्ट्रियल लैंडस्केप इन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर हैज बिन ट्रांसफॉर्म इफ यू सी द प्रपोजल इन्वेस्टमेंट प्रपोजल वी हैव रिसीव टिल डेट दे आर वन लैख ट्वेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड सिक्सटी सिक्स करोर वर्थ प्रपोजल वी हैव रिसीव ऑन आवर सिंगल पोर्टल विद अ पोटेंशियल ऑफ फोर लैख सेवेंटी थ्री थाउजेंड एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड टिल डेट अंडर दिस न्यू सेंट्रल सेक्टर स्कीम वी हैव रजिस्टर्ड एट हंड्रेड एटी नाइन यूनिट्स एंड सिक्स थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड क्रोर्स ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड आई एम ग्लैड टू शेयर दैट राइट टिल डेट अराउंड दिस मच ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट हैज बिन ग्राउंडेड लाइक सिक्स थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड इट्स अ रियल टाइम इन्वेस्टमेंट सम हैव कंप्लीटेड ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट सम थर्टी परसेंट सम फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ देयर कंप्लीशन एंड वंस दे कंप्लीट देयर एज पर द डी पी आर दे कंप्लीट देयर uh manufacturing they come to us for registration and once their date of commercial production is given by the industrial and commerce department they become eligible for the incentives and this is for the first time that uh, a big ticket investments uh, have been received in jammu and kashmir i'll just go through green energy they are making around 3500 crores of investment uh, in preparation of solar and god solar wafers solar cells then we have rswm bilwada group the major textile group in india then we have silon beverage uh, which will be preparing this campa cola for reliance then we have green quest advanced film chiripal group a very big group involved in polyfilms and packaging industry uh, in fact a giant in packaging industry then we have a syntex advanced plastic limited this uh, subsidiary has been brought by wellspun a uh, big group and they'll be manufacturing uh hard and steel pipes in jammu and kashmir then haldiram a uh, new request we have, we we have been made is from havels from arcelor mittal a tip on a japanese multinational company so all such big names are are coming to jammu and kashmir for for investment so that is a kind of uh, interest which is being shown by 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 investors outside jammu and kashmir now to have a a a a thriving industrial ecosystem you need to have a policies which could thrive that industrial ecosystem you you should you need to have policies which support that industrial ecosystem and i'm glad to share that these are the 15 policies which support that thriving industrial ecosystem be it industrial policy industrial land allotment and see a uh, government is not uh, like having a, a bag full of uh, land as a resource land has always been a scarce resource but to 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 augment that to complement that we have brought in jnk private industrial estate policy wherein private players who are, who uh, can create industrial parks and that they, they can allot uh, uh, land to pro- potential investors and in that policy i like to share that stamp duty change in land use registration charges all these charges have been waived off which becomes a incentive in itself then we have a fdi policy we have a health investment policy film policy iti policy all these policies which the policies from the government i'd like to say that institutional support from the government to to thrive that industrial ecosystem in in jammu and kashmir so this is the uh the uh, national central center scheme like it it started on uh, 1st of april 2021 that government of india announced a special package for jammu and kashmir uh, amounting to rupees 28400 crores so i i didn't intervene my friend from up that uh, about the incentive but let i have made a comparison that jnk is the only 
uh, UT or state in the country which gives you four times return to your investment. Four times. Punjab 130%, Himachal 120%, UP 110%. Uh, just briefly, if, you, if I may say so, that there are four types of incentives under this scheme. First is capital uh, investment incentive. The investment made in the capital. And the good thing is that not only the core manufacturing, we have included service sector as a part of industries, be it hospitality sector, hotel industry, be it health and wellness sector, or warehousing or cold store facilities, all these have been including in, 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 in industrial and they can, uh, they're incentivized also. Uh, then we have a working capital which is exclusive for existing industry because we didn't want them to be left out. Second, we have a capital, capital interest subvention where an, uh, a manufacturer having a loan up to 500 crores, the 6% of that loan would be uh, shared by, by, by government of uh, India and Jammu and Kashmir for seven years. That means if we avails the loan at rate of 8-9%, that 6% would be borne by uh, government for a period of seven years. And the fourth lucrative one, the most lucrative one is 300% to your GST. Meaning, uh, if a unit invests around 1000 crores in its core manufacturing, only plant and machinery, we don't give it on uh, building and land, etc. On eligible plant and machinery, core, which is used in a core manufacturing thing, supposedly it's 500 crores. So, 300 percent. So, 5, 3 are 1500. So, that unit becomes eligible for GST linked incentives worth 1500 crores over a period of 10 years. That means his annual capping has been fixed up to 150 crores. So everywhere he is eligible for availing 150 crores of rupees as a GSTLI till 10 years. This is the most lucrative one. So all in all I can say that, that this is the most lucrative uh, incentives. Uh, I, mean, I don't know about the world but in India no scheme provides returns uh, four times to your investment. So these are the major sectors which we have included. Uh, we have educational sector, but this is particularly uh, with respect to vocational training and skills, not school education, I may say so. <coughs> and uh, one thing uh, about freight terminal logistics park, uh, Jammu and Kashmir is a landlocked UT, northernmost UT. Uh, any manufacturer investing in Jammu and Kashmir has to take raw material from outside and and then take it out to for for uh, potential market. So the paradox with us is that we are uh, uh, we don't have any raw material. So whenever we have to allure or uh, invite industry or manufacturing units, we have to have uh, some kind of incentive. So this is the most uh, lucrative incentive as of now. Then how do we create that ecosystem? One is incentives by way of uh, refund our money and second is availability of land through land allotment policy. We also provide a land to the uh, uh, potential investment on a subsidized rate. So if you see the land not exceeding 5 canals, 5 lakhs, then 6, 7 and 8. 8 lakh is the maximum. So we don't have acres, we call it by canal but uh, for your information, one acre is equal to eight canals. So per canal, we have eight lakhs, but if you compare it, it with market, it's around one fourth and one fifth. So land is also being provided uh, on a subsidized rate. So land rate is fixed, so we can't have an auction. So what we do is that we have devised a, a method where, wherein there is a slight, slight a competition amongst investors. <coughs> Those parameters are how much investment the inve investor is bringing per canal, how much of employment is going to provide per canal, what the, the pollution category of that unit, other category, whether a woman is handling, ex serviceman is handling. So on that basis, we have devised a certain parameters. On that basis, we give them ranking. The moment, so suppose we have a 100 canals, if it closes at 30, 30 becomes the eligible contenders for married list. So once that committee uh, gives out the married list, that is put in a public domain for 10 days. 
to invite any kind of objection from any investor whether he has got less marks he he was expecting marks somewhere he didn't get it so that is how the the transparent method we have adopted wherein only through merit land is allotted and i'm very uh, i take pride in sharing that with every meeting the per canal investment in <coughs> jammu kashmir has gone up in the during the first meeting we had a 2.5 crore average per canal investment and the last meeting we had around 6.5 to 7.5 crores per canal that means everyone knows by investing high by having a high employment i'll be getting land but there is a catch to it they have to be smart in preparing their uh, uh, dpr or getting a land but we have a put a clause wherein they have to sign an affidavit that that 80% of the commitments made in the dpr they have to fulfill so while coming to us for incentives and registration they have to certify that 85% of the commitments have been made say he he promised 1000 crores of investment so minimum he should have invested 850 crores <coughs> he had promised 1000 employees because he can play the game with respect to allotment of land he'll get a more score he'll get a land but yes be smart but not that much smart where where you can uh, uh i mean uh, divert yourself from getting any kind of incentive so that is the catch so they have to fulfill those commitments which they make in the dprs so uh, they are leased out for 99 years is the perpetual uh, uh, lease so these are the initiatives i which i discussed and we have our own uh, jnk industrial policy where uh, we can uh, one of the theme of industrial fostering industrial ecosystem was uh, green energy Uh, we provide uh, we incentivize them uh, for your see dg sets we provide subsidy on dg sets but we ensure that on dg sets uh, they do some kind of uh, they use if they have procured earlier now uh, not a single dg set is coming out without the all the ministry of environment a uh, conditions that they have to have that kind these kind of features in the gen sets but if they have bought it earlier so they have to do some retrofittings we call pollution control devices they have to do retrofitting in that so we incentivize uh, him also for that then for the existing industry we have turnover incentive and the net sgst which i think up has also that policy <coughs> we provide a net as if for only for existing uh, industry and for existing industry uh we provide 5% of the working capital if you have they have, they have loaned uh, borrowed some uh, some some say for as a working capital from the bank 5% of that working capital 5% will be provided by the government over a period of 5 years so uh what we are inviting we are incentivizing them also we are providing land subsidies also but what are the other features wherein we can say that yes it is a low cost business uh, to invest in in jammu and kashmir if you see the tariffs we are one of the low not one of the we are the lowest tariff charging uh, for industries we have 4.2 and 4. Point and 5 for the large industries but average it's around 4.4 साढ़े चार रुपये पर हम बिजली मुहैया करवाते हैं अगर आप बाकी स्टेट्स में भी देखें तो दिल्ली इज़ क्वाइट हाई सेवन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव एंड एवरेज भी अगर हिमाचल इज़ क्लोजर अराउंड फोर पॉइंट फोर फोर पॉइंट फोर रुपीज एटी पैसा एंड वी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द क्राइम यस वी वर इन्फेस्टेड विद मिलिटेंसी फॉर प्रिटी लॉन्ग टाइम स्टोन पेल्टिंग एंड हरताल वर द नॉर्म्स ऑफ द डे बट आफ्टर uh the hartal stone pelting na ke barabar they I, i have not heard of any day where there has been such an incident so incident free that way uh terrorists it's at the lowest step in its history and then if you see the national crime data as per national crime data report we i mean jammu kashmir is the lowest uh, crime rate in india if you if you compare all the states with the lowest crime a rate in india so i can very well assure you very well we say with 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 vehemently that it's safest to do, to do business in jammu and kashmir it's i'm not saying it it's that is uh, saying that 
and market linkages. So uh, we have a uh, like ITPO, we have a Jammu and Kashmir Trade Promotion Organization, wherein which takes care of uh, trade fairs, investments, and exports. So uh, it's a kind of a handholding which we provide to the to the to the uh, MSME particularly who need uh, market support. Uh, onboarding them on OD, uh, ONDP online uh, digital platform or Amazon or any other uh, service provider with, with that respect. So this is the one where we support small, particularly MSME units to we handhold them and help them in the in 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 having a market. So one. Besides the core manufacturing, the handicraft and handloom has been the mainstay of uh, economy of Jammu and Kashmir besides tourism. The new thing which we have started, all our products in, from Jammu and Kashmir will be geotagged. And that is going to fetch us more uh, prices. If you see the exports, if you compare it with 12, 13, you see where we are uh, 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 exports have been and promotion in the trade fairs also. And Abhi, if you see this till date, 20,096 shawls and 12,000 carpets have been GI labeled. That means counterfeiting, kafi hat tak we have checked it. And the only product which will be going in the export, uh, through export in the outside markets will be GI labeled. <coughs> so this is just a beginning. And I'm glad to share that not only uh, these handicrafts and handloom we have GI tagged, but agri in agriculture sector also, saffron, we have GI labeled, we have a Gucci mushroom, we have labeled, we have a particular kind of sonai honey, we have GI labeled, Rajma, Bhadrava Rajma, we have GI labeled them. So all this GI geo labeling is going to fetch them a more price in the, in the, in the world market. So if you uh, see the, uh, compare the national uh, indicators, uh, we have been trying to uh, be in the top five or six. If you see PMEGP, we're the number one state, Prime Minister Employment Guarantee Program. If you see the PM Gati Shakti, we are the fourth among the, all the states in terms of layers and uploading of our portal. Startups, if you see the growth of startups in 2020, uh, the number was, 237 now it's 753 now recently we have come up with a new uh, startup policy and i can assure you by the end of this financial year the number will be around 2000 and fourth mo most critical component of uh, uh, industrial ecosystem is the skilling one if you see the median age is 28.2 percent and 65 percent of the indian population is under 35 so so we need to create some capacity building and such uh, uh, platforms where we can have this absorption of this skilled labor as well. So I'm glad to share that in this current budget, we had a earlier pr production linked incentives from government of India, but there has been a shift in this budget from PLI to employment linked incentives. So government of India is incentivizing the top 500 companies wherein they have to pitch in some 10% of the money and rest would be paid by government of India and that boy or girl who will be getting training, he will be provided 5,000 per month and uh, he will be provided skill education by the uh, <coughs> top 500 companies and once they are skilled, they will be absorbed in the So, the focus of government in this budget has been uh, primarily, I must say, in largely towards towards employment and what are the uh, see a government alone cannot be a uh, torch bearer for creating uh, a thriving economy a thriving industrial ecosystem we have to pitch pitch in other stakeholders as well if you see the uh, the de development operations and maintenance of the main uh, infrastructure properties of Jammu and Kashmir be it uh, uh, Centaur Lake if you I've been to Kashmir, if you say, uh, it's just on the banks of Dal Lake. Center Hotel, Hotel Ashok in Gulmar, Gulmar Garswal, Hotel Ashok in Jammu, Palgan Club and Convention Center, all the huts, hutments surrounding that. Then tourist bungalow cafeteria in Sanasar, in, 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 in Kod, in Pahalgam, then Mantalai. All these been, have, but these been uh, placed 
for public private participation <coughs> or disinvestment and this is where we can only the private uh, investor they they can pitch in and they can uh, really help developing such such uh, such beautiful infrastructural projects and thrive them because mostly if you, you uh, may not be in kashmir but in, in if you, if i say that say in kod it's uh, towards jammu side uh, they are not as functional as you will find the hutments or the golf clubs in in palgam so we need someone who can who can take over that uh, facility and uh, i mean create such facilities and run it like a, in a in a professional manner because as you, we say that it's not the business of government to get in the business so that is how we are bringing in more and more skilled manpower and bringing in uh, stakeholders who have expertise in it and they can run it in a much better way so th this is it and any questions i'll be glad to take if any questions from any of you ji agar light on kar dena ah so it is anil chaudhary from eesa so um, that you have talked about uh, various initiatives it is very interesting and uh, one thing was actually may not be the top i don't know whether it was a top was mm. with horticulture is a very important area in jammu kashmir and that requires much kind of uh, investment also just because indian cooling action plan i am talking about from the energy point of view i, I will always talk about energy so indian cooling action plan says that uh, that our energy requirement in the cooling sector is going to increase of 3 to 4 times by 2030 and in this our this horticulture produced waste which is to be arrested their core chain requirements are there and they are again going to to uh, use energy so our core chain which are not yet there have to be very efficient so there must be some plan for that uh, uh, core chain infrastructure also because i had one meeting at shrinagar their apple farmers were telling that they are required some core storages at the farm gate level and if they will put it then energy will be required yes. and that and that is why we are going to think of solar based distri and uh, distributed renewable energy based uh, coal chain so that kind of things should be amalgamated that is one and uh, second that various kinds of uh, multilateral loans they don't still uh, mention jammu kashmir in the list because we were thinking i'm just telling you love this you can should talk to adb world bank that for all the they are listing it but not for the, all the projects so they must be uh, listing because when when investment investment is there so these uh, banks will come into KF, kfw dfw uh, adb world banks so this must be advocated that these listing should be there because core chain pilot when we are thinking of putting it there then in that list uh, uh, jnk was not coming. we are advocating from okay. the industry level also but since you have brought it i am telling it to you also well uh, as since uh, before this assignment i was managing director jnk agro industries so uh, uh, yes uh, we don't have a sufficient cap cold storage capacity uh, right now we require more than 3 lakh uh, metric tons of capacity but i am glad to share the information with you we have reached up to 2.25 lakh metric tons if you see the lassipura area in pulwama slightly south of srinagar that is a hub of cold store uh, chain even when i was an mdi we have a 5000 uh, metric ton cold store in jammu itself uh, yes uh, very prudent if it's adjacent to the farm very prudent but then other logistic and other factors like you said energy uh, and all that that becomes a tragedy but i am again uh, sharing this information with you government of jammu and kashmir under the uh, leadership of present lieutenant governor manoj sena and the present chief secretary who was earlier when i was in agriculture he was a financial commissioner agriculture we had come up with a uh, plan called a holistic agriculture development plan the first of its kind in india wherein 5000 crores have been earmarked to uh, agriculture sector wherein the focus is on all sectors associated with agriculture be it agriculture 
be it horticulture, be it fisheries, be it animal husbandry, be it sheep husbandry, be it sericulture, apiculture, all sectors included. And in that, uh, cold chain supply, because this is the only way we can cut down the post harvest losses. And when we 25, even if we cut the uh, post harvest losses to say uh, by 20%, we will be saving 10,000 crores of rupees. In, in, in uh, sheep husbandry sector, in all sectors have been in, included, wherein we have to, one, uh, bring in more of private partnership because we want to give the subsidy direct to the farmers. Let him come up with the greenhouse. Government will provide directly subsidy to him. Let it come with a small uh, plan wherein he wants to have a cattle feed plant for his village. Government will come, will come uh, with subsidy for that. So, one HADP, uh, I would sir, request you to, if you Google it, you will find the document, very beautiful document and this is the second year of its uh, implementation and second we are getting a, around I guess 100 million loan from IFAD. So, Wobhi, they are looking in employment in the agriculture and horticulture sector with special reference to women in some vulnerable uh, sections as well. So, yes, you are right. Uh, post harvest storage it's essential and, and if we have to save on the money and energy through through this we have to go for such uh, such, such for harvest facilities and uh, yes we are short but maybe another five six years we'll be able to come to that required level yeah sir my question was uh, that uh, in your presentation it was very good sir. Yeah. but one we are running a little of time. This last question, eh? Yeah. yeah. Last question is a very brief answer. Yeah. My question was that uh, uh, in the year 2023, there was a news item that a huge lithium deposits were found in this RSC district uh, that was around 6 million tons. And it um, can totally alter the economic scene of J&K with the battery oh, energy yeah. storage system and EV revolution that is taking place. So, uh, your uh, views on that and what steps have been taken to exploit that? See, uh, since uh, subject matter of mining department, but I just, a um, couple of days back, there was a, a story in the Indian Express that uh, Government of India, because it's a central subject, they have to do the auction, Government of India. They did the auction twice and they, they couldn't find any buyer. So, as on date, uh, it's still under auction process. This is what I can say. Spain. Thank you very much.